We are back with uh, round three with our sweet Grixis control deck and uh, Grixis, yeah, sort of Grixis-y. Uh, I would love to play first. Yeah, we can keep this. It's got uh, two mana play, hull breach is sweet, and uh, prismatic lens is nice because it fixes our mana as well as accelerating us a little bit. Oh sweet, another land, hooray! Our opponent didn't play land, so it's very likely that we just hull breach whatever like artifact uh, acceleration they might use. Oh, our opponent mulliganed. That would explain a lot. Duress, sure. You like my hand? You can have mind slaver if you want. I mean, we don't have anything going on right now either, but if we draw like a Forbidden Alchemy or something, that'd be pretty good for us. Taking a lot of lunch. Time Warp, not the action we were looking for. So I guess we just pass. <laughs> Run to draw a land. Oh, they didn't miss a land drop, that's fine. Never mind. Sure. Kind of awkward, but green is our splash sort of thing, so... Uh, if I draw another land and I don't have anything else going on, I'm probably just going to cycle time warp. Stitcher Gerald. Sure. Yes. Target me. Red source, hooray. Um, I think we just play Mind Slaver here. And then next turn we can Mind Slaver and uh, Unfaith Fetters the Prismatic Lens. So my opponent, uh, do our flush, sure, is only has, okay, they're, they're getting their devour flush out of their hand. No, Mizzix is mastery, really? Jerk. Guess I'll just tap you out and skip your turn. I could play Shroom, or I could play Repulse. I think I just play Shroom here. Yep. Please. So my opponent has a Swamp and a Phyrexian Arena in hand.
They're not going to get any more creatures out of us, though. So, uh, take that, Geralf. So I'm actually just going to ca uh, activate Mind Slaver, targeting my opponent. And I'm not going to attack with Shroom, instead I'm going to attack with the, uh, attack the Stitcher into Shroom. And I'll repulse this right now so I don't have to worry about it later. Combat. Attack with Stitcher. Block. This is so weird. I've never interacted with an opponent on like that before. Um, and then I'm actually gonna play this guy and bounce my shrew. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I lost Cruel Ultimatum too. That's BS. Um. Yeah, I'll bounce through. get this mind slaver back. Yes. <laughs> Just random nonsense. And I can like bounce the zombie, have my opponent sacrifice a creature, and Urza's rage them as well. Oh, Thada. Yep. It was tapped. Fire diamond. Namo. Just have my opponent out. So we've got Plains Island Minamo Ashling. Can I just burn my opponent out now? Soon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I can just kill them. Sweet. Or instead of showing them Urza's Rage, I could just not do that. And pass the turn. There we go. Um, hmm. Hull Breach is actually fine in this matchup. Lava Lanch is great. Uh, my opponent has a bunch of little derps. Uh, yeah, I think we can run it back. 
interesting hand. I'm gonna keep it. Into the Royal was a sweet draw. The Demir Aqueduct is a little bit awkward, admittedly. Signet. Mizix's Mastery. Not really a great reason to cast anything. Or to move to discard, rather. Sure. Also, my opponent had a rescind, which is uh, not great. So hold up far away. Good call. Also hold up into the royal. And now that we have a red source, we can just combo kill my opponent too. Sure. Um We're gonna kill it, I think. Eh. We're gonna cast it with kicker. Because if we yeah, if we drew something else to play, that's great. And we wouldn't have to discard, so. And we can still hold up far. Although as much <laughs> help as that's gonna be. My opponent is not playing Stitcher Giralf, so I'm not going to bother doing anything interesting either. Widwin. Well. Uh, I'll take three, whatever, it's fine. Three in exchange for being able to far away? Yeah. There's no real, real reason to overload this here, so I'm just going to cast it. Okay, that's fair. Oh, I could have uh, killed it in response, never mind. Alright, so, not sure how I win now. Oh, yeah, never mind, Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> It's like, I could kill the Phyrexian Arena. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, the combo. My opponent has the combo. And I have Silence of Labor's Protection. Are they the same size? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. We will pass the turn. If my opponent does anything funny. Fine. 
mine's at one though. Eight and a half tails. Alright, so we're gonna use Silence the Believers Strived. And my opponent can protect one of their creatures, but not both. Oh no, they can protect both. I, I can't magic. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try not to lose in the next couple turns here. Um, Urza's Rage would still win. Cruel Ultimatum would still win. Oh, that was really bad. Dragon Lord Silvar, you got it. Joke's on you. Don't have any creatures. And my opponent's forced to put so much pressure on me. Lorthos, the fresh maker. Sweet. Joke's on you, I was lying. And also I have an answer for like Faith's fetters. So many good cards left. Lavalanche would do it too. All right. It was just a matter of time, really. I wasn't quite worried. GG's. That was interesting. I'll see you guys. Uh, anyway, do a quick wrap up. My name is Morgan. I go by MTG Valkyrie on Magic Online, on Twitter, and on YouTube. Go ahead and check out my daily draft series for a new draft video every weekday at youtube.com slash MTG Valkyrie channel. Also check out my work for gatheringmagic.com and my stream at twitch.tv slash Mind of Uh Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next month for another awesome draft video.